Oh, you. Hmm. The truth is... Thank you. And let me say it again. The town is safe now, thanks to you. Couldn't be more grateful to you. Pardon! I heard you fixed up the hole in my shop's wall while I was gone. I can kiss you! Why, it were no trouble at all. Your bonny wife had need of help, and we all have need of your shop. Well, that may be, but I never knew a captain to be so generous. My only wish is to render assistance in any way I can. Whatever we matters I can take care of, I will. Even if they might not turn out as well as yours did. What the hell? You bumped into me? Well, who could avoid those massive ears, you damn ressant? Looks like I need to go keep a brawl at bay. Hey, listen, both of you. Enough already. Sorry about that. Right tragedy for the town hero to see something so disgraceful. I'm not bothered, but are you? <laughs> oh, my skin ain't that thin yet. It's just... That kind of manky scene has been more common lately. Neighbors coming to blows. Good lads fighting. Old town is right anxious. And that's what I wanted to discuss with you. I'm curious about you and your pals. You're all of different tribes, eh? Even got highs made to join up with you. How exactly did you get so many different people to come together as one? We have a shared vision, one which will benefit everyone. That answer's befitting of you. So that's what brought you all together. And you're the idealistic leader. So it is. What we need here is a leader everyone acknowledges. We need a new system where the people themselves govern the town. I think that sounds like a fine idea. I'm much assured by your words. Thanks for being so accommodating. If you can manage it, would you help me out again sometime? With your consult, I know this town will keep getting better. Of course. I'd like to keep helping you. Oh, that would be a great help. Thank you. With your support, I'll be sure to make this town a nicer place to live. The Honorable Guardsman, Barden. Within him dwells the virtue of the Commander. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I shall protect the town you all saved. I'd be glad if you came back soon. I'll try to have good news for you by then.
I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Yeah. Ah, a new power to wield. You'll come again, won't you? But why? Uh... Ah, it's you. you hmm. good grief ah it's you hmm. good grief all right then Let's go. You have my thanks. Oh, my apologies. You're right there. That's a relief. Well, I'll be off now. Hey, you sure you want to let that fellow go? He nicked something of yours just now when he bumped into you. Oh no! Grease's dagger is missing! L let's chase after him! I don't see him anywhere! Jeez, how'd he disappear so fast? <sighs> Come on. No. Oh. Have you ever heard of Malvino's ring? Rumors say it's a cursed treasure that kills anyone who wears it. I happen to know of a certain noble who wants it, and I'd love for him to owe me a favor. So you want us to get it for you? That's more of a hassle than getting the dagger back ourselves! Then by all means, do it yourselves. Yes, these sorts are terribly crafty, but it's not impossible, probably. The way you talk almost feels like you've been in on this from the beginning. <laughs> Good one. We just happen to be in the same boat, so why not lend each other a hand? All in the same boat, huh? Well, the choice is yours. 
Mm. If I recall correctly, you're a candidate in the tournament for the throne, aren't you? So you know us, then? Information is a powerful weapon, you see. Considering what I know about you, I'm offering you a good deal here. Mark my words. Once your dagger's sold off, it will be incredibly difficult to track down. But leave it to me, and I'll get it back before that. Of course, I'm no miracle worker, and the clock's ticking, so do make up your mind. Fine. We'll hear you out. For now. The ring you mentioned, where's it located? At a grave not too far from here. A day's trip in your runner, I'd wager. Word is there's monsters knocking about out there. Hence my request to the lad with the sword at his side. It's not all bad, though. You'll find good weapons, armor, and other golden things are plenty there. I do recall hearing something about soldiers who died in the Annex War being buried with their equipment. I assure you, it's well worth the trip. We have to go through with this to get the dagger back. I'm having a hard time dealing with him, so I'll let you take over from here. Your fairy friend doesn't seem to like me very much. What say you, though? Hopefully I find your ring amongst the treasure. Thank you for making such a prompt decision. Call me Kukulis. The ring should be in the abandoned tomb. I'll thank you properly when you return with it. This one's important. Go ahead. Really? And right there, let's see here. It's a campground. There's a runner. Oh, it's your call. Let's see. <sighs> All right, then. Go ahead. You have my thanks. Pardon? Right. 
time marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Time. It's your call. Let's be off. Taking up the request of the man, the mysterious individual could very well become a source of new power, though they have yet to quite grasp that. Onwards. You're young. Too young, in fact. A greenhorn like you is years, centuries, from deserving a land runner. You'd be the rapscallions who crashed the opening ceremony. A young man like you, our king. Ha! <laughs> Laughable. What's your problem? The name's Godard. The rightful heir to the throne, and the voice of the rogue tribe. Tax the young, bankroll the elderly, those too old to work will know prosperity under my rule. You little jackanapes will kneel before your betters and elders. And if you will not, you will be made to kneel. Prepare yourselves! We don't want your vision of a world built on palace sacrifice! Face me! Rancor! Let's stay calm. Lend me your strength! Maybe there's a better choice. I won't hold back! Burn! I shall... Let's make an end of it! to learn respect for your elders. Who do you think can... Huh? A blunder. Suffer. I see your game. Comrades, lend me your strength. 
Perhaps magic knight. Pierce through them. They yet cling to life. Meddling. Now accept your Little fate. Holy God. I show no mercy. <laughs> Remember, we all grow old. The blade you hold to my throat will be at your own soon enough. Nobody's trying to massacre the elderly, you old goat. We want equal happiness for all, young and old. God above. Look, we'll not kill you here. How's that for respecting our elders? But mark me, this will not happen again. <laughs> Far too naive. But I suppose that's the luxury of youth. To ever greater heights. Excellent. I've grown more right. powerful. I can get used to this. Spectacular. The gauntlet runner at last arrives at an encampment as darkness overcomes the wilds. Nightfall, the time of hunting for monster kind. Even with the gauntlet runner, it is no time for travel. As monsters come more alive with every breath, the thirst for adventure is quenched. All right, then. 